uh, this info class from the models, it is easy to get uh, values from the playlist. Uh, what do you think about it? Is that a, a common uh, practice, a good one? Uh, I don't know. Okay, so you have some configuration mm -hmm. bundled in the app at mm -hmm. compile time. You bundle there a plist in the bundle, and then you get the values yes. at runtime. Mm -hmm. Right, so you have an info plist somewhere. Copy list. We can set some values here. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. When you have like keys that you need to load that are client specific and you load the runtime, there's nothing wrong with that. I just recommend that you access those bundled uh, keys and, and values from the composition root and inject it into your components. So your components don't need to know okay. how this is decide how it's decided which API URL to use. Because maybe during tests, you don't want to use a, a different URL. But if you, you are fetching it directly from the bundle, when you're testing, you need to inject it into the bundle so your class can get the URL you want. I see. It's much better to you know, define your components decoupled from environment, decoupled from bundle, from file system, as much as you can. Mm -hmm. So they're much easier to test, be in a separate module in isolation, be used in different applications, maybe loading from the bundle, maybe loading the URL from a service, mm -hmm. you know, from a config service or hard-coded, right? And then your components are decoupled from the environment. Okay. Because the environment key. varies, it changes, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, and the way to do that is by using dependency injection. Yeah, but this so there's nothing key. wrong with bundle, but you access these environment details, usually from the composition root, and you inject the values into the components. Okay.